Hey guys, it's Dave from TD Drums. Welcome to this lesson on how to play Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi on drums. Now today's lesson, I'm going to cover all the parts. And in fact, I have put a copy of the, all the sheet music in the description section below. There's like two and a half pages to practice away. Because this lesson is not just about learning it, but I would like you to actually go away and master these parts and have fun with them at the same time. Are you ready for today's lesson? Now, if you're a big fan of Bon Jovi and you want to learn this on drums, be sure to hit the like button because it helps this channel out. So thanks very much, guys. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to get into the intro fill, like that famous four-bar phrase. Now, the first three bars are really easy in this four-bar fill because all we're doing is going to play the, the bow of the ride on the one, two, three, like this. One, two, So that fourth bar, all it is, is it's going one, two, and then three, and a four, and. Now the actual tempo of this song is 123 beats per minute. So let's have a go with the metronome at 123. Now, we're just going to go for the bell the ride sound in this song. You might want to use a different symbol or a different sound altogether, but for simplicity, I'm just going to use the bell the ride in that part. All right, let's move on to the intro beat. Now, the intro beat is a two bar phrase, and it sounds like this. Now that beat there can actually seem really easy, okay? But it's actually a little bit tricky because both bars are a little bit different. Notice on the first bar, the bass drum is on the four and, like this. So one and two and three and four and. But the second bar is just straightforward. So you've got to try and put those two different bars together. All right, let's move on to intro fill number two. Now this intro fill happens just before the singing starts, right? And it's, once again, it's a two bar phrase, check it out. Now the first bar is really straightforward, but the second bar you got this. Now the snare goes in the one, two and, and also the four like this. Notice how there is a flam that happens on the count four as well. So the flam is really just where both hands are playing at the same time, almost, okay? So one hand goes slightly before another. Okay, let's check out the main beat in the song. Now the main beat is super straightforward because it's just one and three on the bass drum, two and four on the snare, and the hi-hats are just doing eighth notes all the way through. Okay, but you know, Tico Taurus, the drummer, you, you can see that he's really solid when he plays the song. So the hi-hats... You don't want them to be light, you want them to be pretty strong all the way through. You might have them a little bit loose as well, just to, you know. Give it that real full energy, okay? So here's that beat at about 123 beats per minute.
Now with the main beat, it probably uses that main beat probably like at least 90% of the time for the main beat, but there's a few variations. In fact, I'm gonna show you two variations that do happen. The variation of one sounds like this. So you notice that variation just has an extra bass drum on the three end. That happens a few times in the song, you'll hear that. The other variation, variation number two, is really similar to that, you just got an extra bass drum on the four end as well. It sounds like this. So variation number one and two just happen in little bits and pieces throughout the song, you'll notice. Okay, let's get into the verse fill. Now the verse fill is just before the pre-chorus. And this is a really pivotal moment in the song and the drums are a big part of this. However, it's very simple what the drums do here. Check it out. So you notice that part it's just going So it ends up being three snare drums on the three end, the four and the four end, just right there. All right, another really important part in the song is when it has the pre-chorus fill, and it's basically using the floor tom and the snare drum. And you could even use the bass drum as well in this part. That's all the fill is. So between those three, floor tom, snare drum, bass drum, you're going to try and, number one, get them in time with each other, those three things, but also get that right rhythm. Ba, 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 cha. So that last part is just a, is just a snare drum flam there. All right, the next section we're going to look at is the chorus section, and the chorus section uses a combination of the, the bell of the ride and the tip of the cymbal, like this. except it's played quicker. And then the rest of the beat sits like this. So you got the bass from the one, the two ends, and the three. Okay, now the last bar of the chorus, what number one, does this sneaky little hi-hat on the four end to get back into the back to the verse section of the song, okay? And this is how, how it sounds. All right, the intro to verse number two, once again, it's a two bar pattern, but you've also got this weird snare drum part, which sounds like this. Okay, let's move on to the chorus beat number two. Now chorus beat number two is not really the same as chorus beat number one, because it's actually a two bar pattern, all right? So notice the first bar sounds like this. And the second bar sounds like this. So the bass drum is the only thing that's a little bit different. The ride cymbal is still going. 
you know, the shoulder tip, shoulder tip. Once again, yes, you can play it just on the cymbal, but it's probably not gonna give you the same Tico Taurus Bon Jovi sound. Now, just before the guitar solo section of the song, you've got this crash part that happens. It sounds like this. In that part there, you've got this one, two, and three, four, and then it's gonna rest, so one, two, three, and a four, or you can go, and a four. I just go with the right hand playing a double on the floor tom, or the, any tom, or the, that tom there, or the, you could even use the floor tom if you wanted to. Sounds like this. It's a good idea to tap your foot if you can, just to keep time in those parts where you've got lots of rest, that way you do keep time there. You see that part there, when I'm using the floor tom, I'll actually use a left, right, and then a left on the snare. That can be easier than going, because the switch can feel strange. Especially when you hit the snare there, you want to hit it as an accent, and if you can hit it, as a rim shot, even better. Now let's look at the next section of the song, which is the guitar solo section. And it's a two bar phrase, two bar pattern, okay? This is how it sounds at 123 beats per minute. So if you strip away all the crash symbols and all the bells on the right, all, all the beat is, is this. Okay, the next step is try and add the, the, the bells. and then try and add the crash symbol as well. That's a bit of a tricky pattern. So, you know, we're trying to add the crash symbol, the one and the two and, okay, in that beat. All right, the next part of the song is a three bar breakdown or build up, okay? So you know, you've got this one bar of a little crash and then two bars of this build up on the floor tom and the snare drum. Here's how it sounds. Ends up being three crash symbols there. One, the count one one the two and, and then one of the four. But then you just got the two bars in the build up. I'm a bit of a fan of playing a flam on the snare drum on the count four, that last beat. So there's another fill that happens in the song, but it's an unusual fill because it's only in three, four. There's only three counts in the bar. It's that one where it's just cut short and it sounds like this.
So that part there, you just want to make sure that you got that. You're not doing the snare on the end, because that's what happened earlier. You've got to cut that snare out and just go. And then straight into the, the beat, okay? Straight into the beat. That's, that's a cool part of the song, because it's you don't expect it to go straight into the, the chorus like it does, but it does, and it just sounds epic. And that's pretty much the song, except you've got this one last variation in, in the final chorus that happens. That happens on, I think, two or three occasions, and it sounds like this. Alright guys, there you go, that's the song for Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi on drums. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button, it helps this channel out. And be sure to get a copy of the, the sheet music for the lesson, it's in the description section below. Alright guys, subscribe for more lessons like this on YouTube. That's what this lesson is, or that's what this channel is all about. You know, having free lessons and giving you guys some quality content to help you guys become better drummers. And you know, that also you know, I add the bonus of getting a the sheet music in the description section below because that's how you're going to master the, the, the music that we go through, okay? Because, I mean, it's great to learn it here on YouTube and play along to it, but honestly, like, I'm a big fan of having sheet music just because I know that that's what really helps you to dive deep and learn parts really well. So, guys, have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you next time. See you guys.